more safe than any people have ever lived ever, and just overall in general, like the, the, the modern Western civilization. But then you're going over to Afghanistan, and you're, you're, you know, you're dealing with bombings and schools and buses and sniper attacks, and you know, your buddy just lost a leg from an IED, and you know, that that kind of shit just wears on a person. Yeah, just any any anything. I oh. I can't, I can't believe we still do war like this. Mm. Uh, it's just, you know, I'm very, see, I get in a lot of trouble because I'm anti-war, and all wars are bullshit. I and get in trouble because they're anti-war. Well, for instance, it's pro-war. Uh, the entire establishment is pro-war. You know that. Every, every newscaster is pro-war. If, if you're not pro-war, you don't get on TV. If you're against the war, you get fired like Phil Donahue, like Ed Schultz, like Jesse Ventura, like Ashley Banfield. If, you're, if you tell, like Chris Hedges, if you tell the truth about the war, you will get fired from establishment news. Mm. And There's so, no establishment news that will let you talk openly other than RT. RT seems to be pretty uh, open, <laughs> which yes. is really ironic. That's ironic, right? Yeah, I mean, when Abby Martin was working mm -hmm. for RT, I was like, Jesus Christ, like, wh wh how's that work? You know, <laughs> the Empire Files, and you're working for Russia? Like, you know, I know, it, it does seem, crazy. it's a crazy, crazy juxtaposition. It is weird. Ed Schultz was the one who said that, uh, you know, he was not, he was told what to cover, what not to cover at MSNBC. Mm -hmm. He was told not to cover Bernie Sanders. He wanted to cover Bernie Sanders. Anyway, he said that the Hillary Clinton campaign and the head of NBC News, Andy Lack, were joined at the hip. And he tried to cover Bernie Sanders. He was told not to. He was yelled at by the head of MSNBC. That's how he described it. And uh, a month later, he was fired. He was out. Well, Cenk had a, ser a similar situation. Cenk from the Young Turks. Cenk, he was told that uh, our friends in Washington don't like your tone. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what they told him. That is hilarious. And he was winning his time slot. And they told yeah. him that. And they moved him to the weekend to give Al Shal They. This is true. This is true. So they moved him to the weekend, uh, and they said they wanted him to work on his presentation skills. The guy's winning his time slot. They're saying, we, we want you to work on your presentation skills. And meanwhile, who'd they replace him with? Al Sharpton. <laughs> He's got great yeah. presentation skills. All right. So yeah. he keeps like... He's got a nice I mean, suit on. Al um, Sharpton, did you ever see him try to read a teleprompter? Rotating too much, yeah. and it's unable to fire. Yeah. But he's not a teleprompter yeah. reader. No. And yeah. it was Moving like, we was, I have clips Moving we used out. to make fun all the time on my show of him. It was <laughs> hilarious. And then the, to find out that that's the reason they gave was because he's a better presenter. He's a better, or, he's a great orator. Yeah. That's yeah. different than being a news presenter. Right. Yeah, and it keeps that, turning so much. No, it's just, he's not Spanking a like trustworthy person either. Spanking like higher degrees. Of deception. So you having the, well, the way he's he not got supposed that to do job. that. Yeah, well, how about the way he became famous? The Tawana Brawley case. Ooh. I mean, he became Any suggestions, man? And so you're seeing this guy who oh, is oh, basically a famous right, con man who's now on television on a news program. <laughs> well, they ha they have there's a lot. Of, look at Brian Williams. Yes, I is mean, he back? Is they he back in the air? Yes, he has the 11th hour on MSNBC. So has everybody forgotten? Everybody has forgotten. I get his punishment was he had to he had to go spend six months uh, giggling with Rachel Maddow. What did he do? <laughs> <laughs> they, have these, show? <laughs> they do these shows, they got like these round tables, and, the, yeah. <laughs> and he has to laugh and pretend, they all pretend. You know what's fucked up about him? He, all he had to do was tell the truth, and it was scary enough. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, I mean, you were in Iraq, you really were there. You really were there. Yeah, I mean, you really were there, or Afghanistan, was it Iraq or Afghanistan? Was, I think it was Iraq. And you really, b b shots were fired. <laughs> But Hillary did the same goddamn thing. Oh, that's right. She lied about being shot at. She that's fucking straight up lied about being oh, shot at. Oh, but she at. was in Bosnia, right? Yes. Yeah, she was. Yeah. And, 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 and who was it? The who was the comedian who outed her? It was uh, Sinbad. Did he? Yeah, it was Sinbad who was on that trip. And he's like, there was no sniper. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, 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 she was busted straight up lying about being shot at. Yeah. So it's just, it's always shocking to me when I find out that politicians are lying. Isn't it something? Crazy. <laughs> Can't believe it's real. They're all dark. It's weird. It's, it, it's such a, only the, the, the purest of people are drawn to that profession. It's whenever I find they out they're narcissistic, megal narcissistic megalomaniacs, I'm always shocked. Well, you know what it is, Jimmy? We're weeding out the bad <laughs> apples, yeah, and then expensive. we're eventually <laughs> going to get to the good ones. Yeah. We just so got to get rid of these bad ones first. So that's why it comes back to when he was talking about how Putin, he's like, hey, I want to tell Trump, slow down, don't be friends with this guy. No, I want Trump to be friends with Putin because he's a nuclear power. I want Trump to be friends with anybody. We need detente. You know, NATO is the one wrapping up tensions ramping up tensions with uh, Russia, and we have ever since the Cold War supposedly ended. 
And so, you know, it was just a few, anyway, so I, I just think, yes, Yo. he's a bad guy. They're all bad guys. Right. We're talking to Scord. Well, you know, I just had John Kiriaku oh. on my show. I don't know if he, so he Yeah, I can't do auto as yeah, yeah, off until I run a 30 second out break. Oh, ad break. So Robert Mueller actually prosecuted that guy. So now he's he's a member of Veterans Intelligence on the uh, tail, Vips, and they were or on the uh, front or what? They were invented or they were originally organized to debunk the weapons of mass destruction about Iraq. So they were intelligence professionals who knew what was happening that this we were being sold a bill of goods because the military industrial complex wanted its war, right? Yeah. And so they they were like all the top guys, Ray McGovern, Bill Binney, and they and they uh, created this organization to help debunk it. Well, Bill no, Binney is the guy who was the first whistleblower for the NSA, yes, correct? That they tried to throw, and the FBI tried to throw him in jail, and of course he's the smartest guy the NSA ever had, so he outsmarted the FBI. Well, how did he do that? So he I had the story. But I he, forget the story. He told it to me, but they he had them secretly recorded, mm -hmm. saying certain things, and so when they tried to, uh, to show the evidence against him, he's like, actually, I got you guys. And they're yeah. like, oh, shit. And so they could, and so he had them. So he outsmarted them. And he tells the story on my show. I, you know, was a oh one yeah, so that'd be exactly good, yeah. Went. But he told me a lot of mind blowing stuff on my show. Hmm. A lot of stuff. Never thought about um, that. You know, like about how they spy on us. Well, he was the one that first exposed this program that was essentially spying on every single email, every yeah. single voicemail, every single conversation that you have is being recorded. So William Binney invented a thing called Thin Thread. So Thin Thread was uh, a data collection. So what he did is he hooked up every cell phone to every cell phone in the, in the universe. They have uh, elevation management, so. And it was hard to do, and everybody said you couldn't do it. He did it. And Let's so try to see he what knew happens that metadata w was more predictive than, say, if I tap your phone and listen to your actual phone conversation, I actually learn more by looking at a larger data set. And when, when, when contacts start happening, that means movement's happening. That means an attack is going to happen. That means more. So if the meta has a fail safe more, attached so to it, what is it not doing? To track people and keep your identity secret so it was constitutional. That's what he cared about, the Constitution and the right to privacy. And Thin Thread did that. It was a better. And, the, and they got rid of Thin Thread. And a couple weeks later, 9 11 happened. So that's what Bill. So that's who Bill Binney is, and so he said they got rid of it because there's billions of dollars in the new pro. They brought in a, uh, a, a I think it was called Trailblazer, I was, uh, not as good as a, a tracker, not as good as a metadata thing, and but it was you know it's five six billion dollars to Booz Allen or whoever invented it, and that's what it's all about. It's all about money, and you don't want to disappoint people who want to have a lot of money paid their way, mm. and that so that's what so he blew the whistle on that, and they come back at him and they try to put him in jail. Okay. So they do yeah, lower. thanks for letting me know. So that's I funny know that. to hear him say, oh, somebody wrote a bad book about Putin and they ended up dead. What do you think we do in this country? Look what they did to Chelsea Manning. Look what we did to people who exposed war crimes inside of our country. Right now, we're trying, they're trying to assassinate Julian Assange. They have him in basically solitary confinement. We literally did torture Chelsea Manning. So, uh, and then, you know, Barack Obama used, uh, uh, he, he prosecuted lots of whistleblowing journalists using the, now I'm blanking on the word it's called. But um, espionage act. So this idea that yeah, I'm sure Putin. Maybe Putin did. Maybe that woman who wrote that book about Putin has a lot of powerful enemies. Usually you do when you are that kind of a, a journalist where you're exposing the powerful. She probably didn't just expose Putin. So she probably exposed a lot of people. My point being is that uh, you know now who's being naive, gay. Well, I mean, she probably did expose a lot of people, but it's also very likely that Putin had her killed. Yeah, yes, it yeah. is. I'm not, I'm not denying that. Yeah. Barack Obama had a kill list. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys are, uh, you know, he, he took us from two wars to seven. He did Libya, turned it into a failed state. Yeah. Right now they have open slave trading. Watch on yeah, so, so the top. and they want to do it again. They want to do it in Syria. They want. So, Joe, let me ask you a question. If we get rid of Assad in Syria, do you know who takes over? Uh, the fly Jesus, or something. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> is that who starts running things? Moses or the is he around? Al Qaeda, Al Nusra. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, uh, so that the the great power vacuum, the, the, which is the, what always happens. The, uh, the the Wahhabi terrorists funded by Saudi Arabia. You live in the uh, U.S. Eh? Video or um, after video tape some other country? Top officials admitting that Saudi Arabia funds ISIS and that we also do. So and that we created, we created Al Qaeda. We got we created uh, and ISIS was created okay. because of our invasion of Iraq. But then yeah, this is uh, Joe Rogan. And we ship them to. arms. Jimmy Dore, so it's like a for what political to go overthrow Assad, so we can put a, a pipeline through uh, Syria. So we fund them, so that they fight Assad, but then Saudi Arabia funds. This them. isn't the first time we did that. We funded Al Qaeda, so they would fight the Russians. Right. So this is the same, and then we then well, we're left with them. When was the Mujahideen? That's when they were the Musha. Yes, Mujahideen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and I have videotapes of Hillary Clinton screaming about this. We created this problem. She says this on video. I have it. So, um, that's why I get in trouble because I tell the truth about the war. Yeah, I'm having trouble with that. Just war, you'll be called not conspiracy going up too high. News. That's exactly what's happened. That mm. happened to me. Are you a conspiracy theorist? Now? No, that's what they say. Oh. You know what the biggest, because I tell the truth about Syria. Right. Uh, the biggest conspiracy of my lifetime was the Iraq war. That was a conspiracy. Yeah, that's a legit conspiracy. That's a legit conspiracy. Yeah, I mean, that's one you can actually prove. Right. I mean, I used to have a whole bit about it. I used to have a whole bit about, like, that. The, the only way to find out if someone was, like, from 2005, it was that the reason why they put George Bush in power is the only way to find out if someone is really stupid is to put an actual stupid guy in as president and find out if everybody freaks out. It's the only way to really tell. And we were like, well, we could put a smart guy in there and have him act dumb. Like, no, 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 we'll never know. We'll never know. Never we, get a, we get a dumb guy. Let's just try it out and see what happens. And then it was all the whole thing about us going to war in Iraq. Like, why did we go to the war over there? And why, what did we tell them? And they bought that? Holy shit. And, yep. then it, and then it was, he won again? He won again. Fuck. And I go, and you know there's someone in the back of the room going, I think we can go dumber. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that became Trump. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I mean, that was from 2005 from my Showtime special from 13 years ago. So, uh, let me tell you something. Trump it will be allowed to be president and was allowed to be president because he's doing the bidding of the establishment. They're on board with most of the stuff he's doing. They're like that he's, he, he's not... Ramp, he's not pulling back on any of the wars. He's, they've all ramped up the military budget. Isn't it funny, Joe? But they're not protecting him from Mueller. They're not protecting him from this this investigation. Well, he's nothing's happened. Right. The, it, again, it's and by the way, uh, what they've gotten him on is all regular corruption. Like I said, Trump is corrupt. Yes, he's corrupt. He's corrupt with Saudi Arabia. He's, he's corrupt with Russia. He's corrupt with Israel. He's yeah, they're all corrupt. What do you think? The Clinton Seems Foundation. Pretty they're, they're, they're all. What, the, the Chomsky quote: They'd all be hung yeah. if we applied the Nuremberg standards. So this is the world we're living in. So this idea that somehow we need to focus extra on Trump and somehow Putin. And you know what? Journalists, it, the, the anti-Putin journalists in Russia will tell you that we're a bunch of n numbskulls over here because we're inflating Putin's power. So we are blood. Like he's this all-powerful guy who's got his finger in every decision, everywhere, at all times. Elisa Milano is now blaming the, the, the Green Party being controlled by the Russians for an Ohio election, a special election. I'm not kidding. I can show what? you the tweet. You Alyssa think, Milano. You think I'm? And I, oh, who doesn't love Alyssa Milano, Alyssa, right? She's beautiful. Who doesn't? She's one of the prettiest of all time. I met her in a hotel once. Did you really? Wandering through the hotel, we got in an elevator together. So here so is. I can't believe I'm in a hotel elevator with Alyssa Milano. I, that is. Mm. That is. Mm. I said hello. She said hello back. And that was it. Did she know who you were? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. It was a long time ago, too. She says, you know what sucks? Because of our unwillingness to pass policy that protects our election integrity, I immediately think the Green Party votes to tonight's are Russian meddling. Why else would anyone cast a protest vote in Ohio when there's so much at stake? So much at stake. That's so delusional. Like, what is a protest vote? What's your vote worth? If everyone votes and they all vote green, is that a protest vote? Like, it's like if, he, is it possible that the Green Party can win? Like, do you have no faith? So what they're doing is essentially just bowing down to a rigged system, saying the system's rigged, so just vote for side B, even though side A and B are funded by the same people. I know, I know, but ideologically, side B is our side. That's what she's saying. So what they've gone past, so now the hashtag resistance have gone beyond voter shaming, and now what they're actually doing is democracy shaming. You don't yes. get to participate in democracy. Right, exactly. And those people, so let me tell you something. When people say, oh, you know, the Greens take away vote. I would not have voted in the presidential election 
if I did not have the opportunity to vote for uh, the Green Party. Right. So those votes, you don't own those votes. The way electoral politics works is that if you don't have enough votes to win, you have to go get them. Wow. And you have to appeal to those votes, but they don't have an appeal to voters. The Democratic Party, they have nothing. And so what they have left is fear and voter shaming. And that's it. Now they're actually shaming democracy. But well, you would also think that by the time, after we've gotten through this past election, where no one, literally no one in the mainstream media other than maybe Fox News predicted that Trump was gonna win. No one. They all were 100% sure right. that Hillary was gonna win. They were, they were had, in the 90% range of probability <laughs> yes, of her right. winning, and they were displaying it on CNN. So they know that that's wrong. So why would someone think that a Green Party candidate has to be, or a Libertarian candidate, has to be a protest vote? Why can't it be a real vote at this point? When you're talking why about the kind of social just media ascending. outreach that, that is capable today, oh, yeah, that's possible today, where you, a person who has some really good points Perhaps. and has a real, look at this woman who won in New York, the 28-year-old girl is a Democratic Socialist. I like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Yes. Look, if that doesn't tell you, like, this world is changing in a radical way and upstarts and, and, and people who are huge underdogs have the possibility of winning. It's not a protest vote. It's an actual vote. And if everybody Jeez. who thinks this way votes towards that protest Take vote, point on your what? AI. I don't That's know. That's right. That's what it is. So I used to uh, um, have a joke. I would say, uh, no, you can't vote for uh, you can't vote for a third party candidate until a lot of people are already voting for a third party candidate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what they're Just saying. You can't vote for they have no chance to win. So you have to wait till a lot of people are already so that you that yeah. people don't understand that inherent contradiction. And by the way, people. Uh, maybe if you spent a tenth of the energy trying to excite the half of the country that doesn't vote yeah. as you do and trying to sh voter shame progressives or Green Party or environmentalists for not giving you their vote, which you do not fucking own. Right. Exactly. If you would have spent a tenth of the energy trying to excite people who don't participate to participate instead of shaming the people who do participate, maybe you'd get somewhere. It's also this reluctance to admit that both sides are corrupt is this very strange thing that exists on people who operate within this narrow bandwidth. And this narrow bandwidth is whatever side you're on, whether it's you're on the right or the left, this is the side that you want to win. And it's the right side, and they're the good people, and the other side, even though, well, even though our side does What's wrong, a fake side point? worse. And they, they operate in this real narrow bandwidth. This is why she would think something that's possibly negative for her side is a protest vote instead of being your actual feelings on the issue. And if these people really cared about voting integrity, wouldn't they want paper ballots? Yeah. If they really cared about uh, voter integrity, wouldn't they want ranked choice voting? Wouldn't they want that? Then you don't, that? Have, don't you don't you don't have to worry about this. Ranked choice voting. What ranked choice. So they have it in Maine now, right? So, what does a fake uh, point do, man? It's where, so you know, you you get to. This is my first choice. This is my second choice. This is my third choice. Oh. So you don't get to, so it, it, it eliminates that you're a spoiler, oh. right? Interesting. Yeah, so um, oh. they voted in uh. Maine, and the politicians. Yeah, course, I probably should right? have. So they yeah, got rid of it. Uh. And they had to court reinstate it. They had to, I think it's happened twice now. How does it work in terms of, like, say, if you're going to vote for, uh, you know, governor of Maine? You have a first choice, a second choice, and yeah, a third say, choice. Yeah, let's say there's three choices. Right. So you get to you get to say, well, let's say let's say if your first choice was a Green Party candidate, mm -hmm. you go, okay, that's my first choice, but my second choice would be the Democrat. Yeah. So in okay. and my third yeah. choice would be you know maybe nobody. And so does like second choice have different points? So if you th if your first choice doesn't get enough votes mm -hmm. to win, then your second choice goes right. Mm -hmm. So that's how it works. So you're never wasting your vote. And you know what's ironic? Is that, and I might have, you know, there's been people who can better explain that. So please, I know people are going to, Jamie, the way, better way to say that, I, I'm sure there's better ways. But the thing that kills me is that Bernie Sanders, his whole career was about being an independent. And I have videotapes of him saying, you know what kills me is I go out and I do, I do these talks and I think, talk to people, they come up to me after these debates and they say, you know, I like what you said and uh, you, you make the most sense, uh, but I can't vote for you because you're never going to win. I hate that. They go, I want to waste my vote. Oh, if there's one thing I hate more than that, that phrase, waste your vote. Mm. This was what he was saying his entire career until now. 
and I want to know why. I want to know what the hell does Bernie Sanders in 2018 know that Bernie Sanders in 2006 didn't know, and Bernie Sanders in 1996 doesn't know. And he tells everybody you got to run. And he's you know getting people to come into the Democratic Party, which is actively cheating them. Yet he still cheating runs him and him. Yeah. Yet he still runs as an independent in Maine. I mean in Vermont. He still runs it. Everybody's saying, you guy, you can't do He gets to run as an independent. He gets to run as an independent while representing the Democratic Party yes. sometimes. Yes, yes. So they have a special sweetheart deal. So what is he saying when he said, is he saying now that protest votes are a waste? Like, what is he saying? He told everybody to vote for Hillary. He told, I mean, he's not starting a third party. And oh, I, I, yeah, I shouldn't use BIDs like that because that um, oh, it's Ooh, fighting with the, the AI. The verbiage he used uh, one time I saw him was that... Uh, you know, uh, Jesse Jackson's Shut correct. Up. We need we need a rainbow coalition of people, uh, but it has to happen outside of the Democratic Party. He said I that. Have that was him. Anyway. So we have to have a progressive coalition, but it has to happen outside. And who better to lead it but Bernie Sanders? So that's why it's hard to start a third party because you need people who are already po famous and popular, and uh, in government. So if he left. And he got, say, Tulsi Gabbard and Nina Turner and Alexandria ocasio -Cortez. Yeah. And he got a bunch of people that are super popular what? on the left. We'd have a third party and that would yeah. be polling at 10, 15 percent. Right, right. And now the Democrats would have to join, form a coalition instead of what they're doing now, which is ignoring progressives. After she uh, cheated Bernie Sanders, after the Democrats cheated Bernie Sanders in the primary, Hillary Clinton didn't choose Bernie Sanders as her vice president, as an olive branch. She didn't choose Elizabeth Warren as an olive branch. She went to her right. She got Tim Kaine, who's to the right of her, who's mm. anti-union, who's all, everything bad thing you want, and a corporate Democrat. He's pro-wall, the whole deal. She went, to, so just, so if we had a third party that actually polled at 10 or 15 percent, they would have to, they couldn't do that anymore. They'd have to, they'd have to do a thing called Joe Voter Outreach instead of voter shaming, or it's what it's devolved to now, which is democracy shaming. They're literally shaming people for participating in democracy. You don't get to participate in democracy because you're a third party. Well, fuck you. That's called democracy. And so, yes, I do. And I get to vote my conscience. And we'll be right back. <laughs> That's a good break. That's a good ad break right there. That's solid. If you're on a radio show, that would be the way to go. Hey, one of the reasons why we came in today is because we wanted to talk about the Alex Jones situation. Um, I know you were uh, not just a vocal critic of Alex Jones. You spit in his face on, on live Internet. Joe, I did not spit in his face. That was uh, completely involuntary. <laughs> he coughed. And liquid came out of your mouth. And As you know, right Alex Jones is hilarious. There's no yeah. doubt. There's no denying that. He's occasionally very hilarious. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I, I told you what happened. I was walking up. Yeah. He's having this. They're just about to go at fisticuffs the whole time. Yeah. And uh, as I walk up, he goes, hey, I'm just trying to be nice. And you had a spit tea. <laughs> and I had a mouthful of iced tea, and I that understand. was that. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Good story. <laughs> um, you know, when Trump meant to say would, <laughs> and wooded. he actually say, said would. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he actually, what did he say? I don't see any reason why they would, would but he meant to say, say wouldn't. wouldn't. Yeah, that was one of the worst lies I think anybody has ever told on television in front of millions of people. That was a disturbing lie because in the context of the words and the way he was communicating, it's very clear. It's very clear he meant to say would. It, meant, it, it, was, it was disconcerting to me for a different reason. It was disconcerting to me because it showed that he, they got him to cave. Yeah, someone talked to him. Someone pulled him aside and said, do you understand what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> By the way, when they go, oh, he did, he, uh, Trump contradicted our intelligence communities in public in Helsinki, and that's treason. No, asswipe, that's not treason. The president sets our foreign policy. You're not supposed to contradict the fucking president. Whatever the president says goes, and I hate fucking saying this because I'm not a fucking fan of Donald Trump, but God damn it, did we all lose our head and think that the... Ha all right. Elected spies run our foreign policy. They do not save. Oh, well, actually, spies. No. Our spies. Unelected. Yeah. So, and the ones who let us into Iraq. Let's not forget that. The very dude. Anyway, don't. Do you ever play that video? I played almost weekly on my show of Robert Mueller lying about weapons of mass destruction to Congress to get us into the Iraq War. Well, he was misinformed <laughs> at the time. He uh, wasn't aware of all the information, and uh, you know him along with Colin Powell and many others. Yeah, were they're just good guys. Who did that bad information. People, good know. people. Good people do it in the bad. Those, those no bid contracts that Halliburton got for billions and billions of dollars. It's just because they were the right ones for the job. I mean, why have bids? 
when you've got Halliburton and you've got a guy who's really close to Halliburton, Dick Cheney, who used to be the CEO of Halliburton as the vice president. You got a sweet deal here. Take advantage of it. Halliburton gave Dick now? Cheney a $30 million yes. down payment when he became vice president. This just has so much power. <laughs> Trying to help you out. You get, you know, I know you like to go duck hunting. Give you a nice gun. But Don't shoot your friend in the face. That's <laughs> I used to do a bit about that too. He shot his friend in the face and his friend apologized. And his friend apologized. Yeah, that's how gangster Dick Cheney is. Ah, I should have been there. I look like a bird. <laughs> the, whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing was so fucking crazy. You know, um, we were talking about Alex Jones. Oh, okay. So Alex he's deemed the platform. Yeah, I mean. It, it, it seems to be like across the board like they're, they're it's almost they waited for apple it seems like and when apple pulled them from itunes and then you know youtube had danced with it right they'd given them some strikes it was really recently like within the last couple facebook of months too. Mm -hmm. yeah facebook had given them some strikes and youtube gave them some strikes and people were like hey you know there was some Taking control. Uh, i i felt like almost like unfounded um speculation that they would remove him from the platform like they're never gonna remove him that's crazy that's too far and then all of a sudden boom everybody in one fell swoop he's Spotify. ascending like that I I remove him? they were yes. going to they did right itunes removed oh, i just want you to learn how to do it with the ai because it should work nothing but less than total destruction uh i that apple uh, attacked Alex Jones and got rid of him, but they offered him a safety net in the form of the app that he has on their their app store. They're still so they're trying to take that down too, like take down yeah, the his, app. Yeah, his his show became instantly way more popular. Oh, I'm sure. So again, the unintended consequences. I try to tell people that uh, you know I'm not defending Alex Jones. I'm defending you know the principle of freedom of speech. You know, people who are convicted of killers and who are on death row. They still get their freedom of speech. You're allowed to print articles, and they're allowed to have. You know what I mean? They're still yeah. allowed. Their well, he's allowed to still. I mean, he does, he's, hasn't right. been silenced. He has his website, but he can put his show out on his correct. website. He can he can host it from his website, and it can all be fine. But these major media companies now, they just decided we've had enough. We don't want this on. And here's the thing: like, I don't know what he said that that they would what there was a straw that broke the camel's back it seemed like it's not a recent statement that well he let's said. just go to the court transcript and we'll figure out oh there wasn't there yeah, wasn't a co no court oh there's no, no hearing or nothing process. there wasn't a judicial hearing there was no, no c come on they they just what they, they let some jag off billionaire in the middle of the night on a whim fucking do this is that what happened yes do you think that's what it is that was some billionaire or do you think it's the middle managers and the you know the executives at all these giant tech companies that just decided um i don't know it's it's definitely uh the government tells facebook uh, what to do a lot of times mm -hmm. right and so they bow to the government all the time because they don't want to be regulated right so uh that's why they just they just started having hearings with the that's why they had those hearings should we regulate facebook right so the whole those hearings by the way were fucking bizarre <laughs> yeah. It was like a guy pretending to be human. Yes. You know, it was like some sort of a robot yes. or an alien. The way he would sip water, he would take it like this and... <laughs> like, who fucking sips water? It was like a guy spitting dip into a, a glass. He would go like this. <laughs> like, it was the weirdest little sips. Someone should make a compilation of Zuckerberg's sips of water. Oh, so strange. Like, whoever is that guy who makes the compilations of your show, he does a good job. <laughs> he does a funny job on those. This is me, <laughs> my Zuckerberg impression. Okay. No, Senator. No, sir. There. Watch this sip. Oh. Watch that sip. Give me another one of those. Oh, there is yeah, one. No, they no. have them. Yeah. Oh, somebody oh, already a fucking, yeah, There is a drinking water yeah. compilation. Yeah. Of course there is. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Watch him sip. Who fucking sips water like that? It's like he has to think about it. Mm. Yeah. But Act normal. Be human. Humans drink water. Drink the Look water. how slowly he tilted that glass. It always yeah. happens when I... Um, in his face, I just shoot in the head. He's keeping uh, eye contact while he's drinking the water. It's kind of weird. Yeah, he's trying right. to at least. <laughs> you just want to be disrespectful. This so is fantastic. Strange. That that whole thing was so strange. It was so. Hey, strange. what a better guy to uh, to keep to protect us from fake news and tell us what's real news than a 
and you know who, what has integrity and what doesn't than a guy who made a couple of billion dollars off a stolen idea from his friends. I mean, I think that's the perfect guy to fa- save Is that guard. the true story? Is that what he actually did? <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's what was in the movie, right? That was in the movie. That's yeah. what I know. Whoa, I why is it pinching so? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know the story though was that he ripped people off. That it wasn't his idea, but he you was the pull one up? who figured out a way to wrestle it yeah. free. Yeah. No. Uh, Maybe, yeah. Get rich yeah, it is. There but this is, uh, Matt Taibbi wrote an article on the 2nd, uh, August 2nd, about this. And um, there's been a lot of people being deplatformed from Facebook that you don't know about. Like, who? like this isn't like, okay, uh, okay so um, here's, here's what he's, they shut down lots of other sites at the behest of the government in Israel, like the, and the Atlantic Council. So pages like Black Elevation, they got shut down. A page called Mindful Being. They got shut down. Uh, Facebook also wiped out No Unite the Right Two, which is a page appearing to advertise a counter rally on the upcoming uni- anniversary of the violence in Charlottesville. So they shut that down too. Matt Taibbi, let me just give you a quick quote from his article. He says, Facebook was helped in its efforts to wipe out these dangerous memes by the Atlantic Council on whose board you'll find confidence inspiring names like Henry Kissinger. CIA Chief Michael Hayden, former acting CIA head Michael Morell, and former Bush era Homeland Security Chief Michael Chertoff. These people now have their hands on what is essentially a direct lever over nationwide news distribution. It's hard to overstate the potential mischief that lurks behind this union of internet platforms and would be government censors. Uh, can I just read you one more co- paragraph? Because yeah. this is this is exactly what we're talking about. He says it is already a scandal that these de facto private media regulators have secret algorithmic processes that push down some news organizations in favor of others, which they do. Which they do. Witness the complaints by outlets like Alternate, Truth Dig, and others that big platforms have been de-emphasizing alternative sites in the name of combating fake news. Yo, man, this week's Doom regulation guy. is worse. When Facebook works with the government, what's going on? Want to be Star Chamber organizations like the Atlantic Working Council, on the to turret the jet. Sites on national Doing the missile launch right now. Secret methodology. It opens the door to nightmare possibilities that you'd only find in dystopian novels. So he goes on, and it's it's awesome what he says. But um, we would have more comfort if they would. I mean, there's no like one of the things that they're doing is they use that blanket term hate speech. Yeah. So, by the way, so no, they're they're trying to put a bill. Have you heard about this in Congress to make police a protected class of people? So if you say shit about them, now it's considered hate speech. Oh Did God! You know that? What? Yeah, they're trying to make people. Yes. So fuck the police would be would be hate considered speech. hate speech. So they would just retroactively arrest NWA. They could. What and about Ice T, he was a cop killer. Remember? I, right. Oh motherfucking cop killer! And so now, remember if that? you do have a rally that's against the police, that's a hate rally. Yeah. And they can take your YouTube channel down if you said hate stuff about the cops and stuff. Wow. So, so that that's where we are. Hate speech. Fuck. How, how come I'm not allowed to hate shit? By the way, right. I hate Nazis. Can I say I hate fucking that's Nazis? Hate speech. I hate the KKK. Can I say I hate them? Th- that's hate right? speech. I, oh, I hey man. Like hey Cosmic. Okay. How's uh? <laughs> how's your uh, Blackstone I, Fortress I going? Kid, I hated the fucking Dodgers. <gasps> I know. I was a Cubs fan, and the Dodgers always kicked our ass. Yeah. Hate speech. Yeah, hate speech is a strange blanket term, almost like drugs. You know, yeah. like, like drugs well. is caffeine, but it's also heroin. You know, it's like th- drugs. What's wrong with yeah. hate? I don't understand. What is this is. him? There's but hate out there. So what? Yeah. So what's wrong? So, uh, by the way, I... But it's a bad way of expressing things. Like, hate speech is... It's it's not a good descriptive. Because I agree. When you, when you stop... Th- uh, what does it entail? Like... You know, I had a conversation with a woman uh, at YouTube about Sam Harris and um, uh, Douglas Murray in a podcast where they had had um, a conversation and someone put it on their YouTube channel in their playlist. Just put it in their playlist and they got a community guidelines drive. Oh my and so God. I asked, I asked why and the woman said very cleanly, it was hate speech. And I said, what are you talking about? I go, did you listen to it? Is it two intellectuals? Is it two public intellectuals discuss- discussing immigration and some of the problems that Europe is having right now? And you decided that that's hate speech, and you don't even know what they said. But that, but the fact that she so confidently described it in that way sort of, it, it, it sort of embodies what this problem is: is that they have these blanket terms they're allowed to throw on problems, and there's a million other fires to put out, so there's no more need to put any more consideration into this. This guy's a problem. This is problematic. This is hate speech. Shut it down. 
I, it, it, people don't realize how bad it is, Joe. You do, because you know this story. Yeah. But people go, oh, good for Alex Jones. He shouldn't be able to do that stuff, what he's doing. That good. I'm like, do you not understand <laughs> that this is the shot across the bow, that if they can do this to Alex Jones, that they're coming? I've already been trashed by the establishment media, by the Washington Post, by CNN. I've already been equated to pedophiles and those kind of things and conspiracy theorists. And I've been in articles with Alex yeah, Jones. Yeah, Trish is fun. So because I tell the truth about the war. It is. And I like it. So, uh, I like it, like it, like it. Like antidote it. to bad speech. If you really hate what Alex Jones is doing, the antidote to bad speech is not censorship. The antidote to bad speech is more speech. If you yeah. think, Good speech. If you think yes. what Alex Jones is doing needs to be debunked, create a Facebook page called... Debunk Why is it Alex so Jones high in the air? Right. You know, Kyle Kalinske does that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. People do that stuff all the time. That's how you convert. If you're afraid of an idea, you don't shut down the idea. You expose the idea oh, and okay. you debunk it. But if you have a private platform and you own this, you start a business and your business is uh, putting up YouTube videos right. and you decide that someone is putting up something that's hurtful right. and damaging and racist, then it could be used to attack large groups of people. And then you see like... All, all the the craziness that's been connected to the alt right movement, and you associate that with this individual. Okay. Do you have to keep that on your platform? I mean, there's no relation help. right now. It's no, you want to help me build my jet? Utilities right. Or it should be though. That's my yeah. point. My point is that 70% of the people get their news from Google and Facebook, and they're a monopoly, right? So they have monopolistic powers. 70%. And yeah, that's that was a that was a stat I read today. So. You can't, uh, it's like, well, hey, they took, they took, yeah, they took. Why do, why do you think it's a stress? Yes. It says 45% of the people get it straight from Facebook. That means 150 million people are on Facebook every single day. Yeah, I think that's, that's not accurate. No, but I think that's right. But when they get their news. Not, we don't, the three people in this room aren't, so that's mm. three people right here that aren't. But I get my news from Google. Somebody, I have that yeah. Goog I have that Google app on my phone. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll save it. We can do a um. Shit, and I go over like, what's crazy today? What's happened? Oh, new Cop picture thingy. coming out. Oh, it up, what's crazy? What like did that, Sasha Baron Cohen do? One sentence. Well, tough. let's see what they said. I, I just looked at it. So it said 45 percent get it from from uh, Facebook. But according Google, to is it a Gallup poll? It, it was according to their stats, and I went back to read another Rolling Stone article to find out where. Hello. Yeah. Uh, and Rolling it's a Stone. bunch of like. Uh, Facebook article. Surprise, Vanguard. Mm. So even, yep. even, uh, even if you quibble with those, you, we can't deny okay. it. Alex Jones you cannot now go. Well, just go to the other description of what you would like to do. So basically, I just want uh, basically like a B fifty. What's it called? Hold on. What's the new big bomber, heavy bomber that the U.S. has? B yeah, B-52, but no, actually no. Um, let's see. Where are well, we? I'm hurt because I saw, I messaged you, and then I messaged in general because then I watched, I went to stream because fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was like... Alright, I'm going to send like a reference thing. There we go. Wow. I wish the link was shorter. But yeah, something like that because I'm actually ha I have the jet engines in line with the wing. That way it'll, it won't. Yeah. Well, not quite like... I I want the fuselage to be like that. I want the fuselage to be like that. You mean the, where the turbines are, right? Yeah, like the whole plane layout. But I want I'm putting like a turret on the, each wing, and then in the front, and then a missile launcher and that turret in the back. Okay. Do my best, and also just fucking hell, I've been looking for somebody just to play this game with because I've been fucking depressed just building my helicopter by myself. 
Yeah, it sucks. I mean, Discord's pretty active. Yeah, I Listen know, but track. I want to talk to somebody, not just read text messages in silence and just go out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hear you. Alright, uh, you gonna host or I'm gonna host? I'll host. Okay, regular version, please. Basic designer. <laughs> Two players. I wanna build a beetle. Oh, by the way, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, I know. Alright, uh, just call join me public and then password is B. The password is what? B. B is in boy or beta. Uh, capital or uncapital? Uh, lowercase. Uncapital. B. You like the giant? Alright. Ready? Um, South Africa. So, I can help, but it might take a while since the lag is fun. I don't know why I started calling lag lag, but it is now a thing. It does. No problem. I'm looking for it. I have way too many vehicles to save. <laughs> you know what? They should add a search function to the loading thing. Yeah. Instead of scrolling for fucking hours. I oh, know. I see a little thing, I'm, a little ship I made. Uh, it's called the Constructo ship. Cool. Here it is. It's good. It's very good. The Constructo ship. Well, it's more Constructo Marine because fucking hell, it almost goes entirely underwater. <laughs> but the idea of this thing is it stores materials and it builds uh, fortresses for me in the resource zones. I can't do that. It only costs 16,000 resources to make, anyways. Nice. I want to make a submarine, but I also want to, I just want to finish making a helicopter that can withstand more than a single Alright, uh, up, There it is. Uh, it keeps going to either space or, um, un underwater. You, you, the least you could have done is fuck he added slop to this thing. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't worked on that. I'm just going to figure out all the propulsion and all that before I start arming it. I'm going to armor it last. It's in the front. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at your um, jet engine, by the way. Custom jet. I'm trying to find your clip. Oh, there we go. It's max power up. Okay, so you've got. So you can use roughly 18,000 power, which will propel this thing. Around about 50, or 
and it seems to like going into the water. Yeah, I think the front is too heavy. Need a, I'm, yeah. <clears throat> That's a good idea. I'll work on that. I know how to play, so oof, like the more I look at the box, the more I get slightly irritated. <laughs> Not insulting your building, but frick do I hate just looking at blocks. This is not Minecraft. Yeah. Some what? Pitch thrusters. Yeah. That's okay. usually what I do. I put I put ion right. thrusters. Because the, the more there's never enough DACA. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. You know what you could do? Instead of having these ion engines, you could make tiny custom jet engines on, on it. Just like two tiny custom jet engines on the two thingies. They, they, they will work more efficiently and not look currently very stupid. Alright. Oh, um, the AI is oh, found it, found it, found it, found it. right behind the engine. You've got it as a bombing run, your adjustment. Ooh, ooh, I'm not liking this. Why? Why? Why isn't everything in even numbers and the same? Why? 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 Why heresy? Much heresy. For what? In the adjustment. No, 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 no. It, do you want this at 350 or 340? Three fifty. Yeah. I have a general purpose one. Um, Just add like a couple of general purpose. We need pitch, roll, uh, yeah, pitch and roll. Yeah. But I prefer using the AI PIDs since I know how they work. AI PIDs. Helping me after I help you. Sure. That, that's good because I'm making another helicopter. I have to scrap the board shipping to prove to not stand a single missile from the cross there, which is bad. Okay. Where, where what? Round. 
I'm not even gonna bother with all that until I get all the engines, propulsions, and weapons done. Um, you know, let me let me give you a piece of advice that somebody gave me. Okay. Because I tried to make a rectangle fly and it didn't work. Okay, so you make it round. So this is the plane, yes? Yeah. yeah. You make it in root. So that way, it will have better aerodynamics. So that way, it will balance better, and so on and so on and so on. Many benefits, very benefits. Add your slopes and blah blah blah. It will do better. All right. Possibly. Okay. Hey, in your stream, it looked like when you received that phone call, you were crying in the background. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Why were you constantly r I saw your face was red and you were rubbing your right eye with your hand. That's just a little tick thing, like a, um, a habit. Uh, I'm just wondering because uh, I got worried. Oh. Yeah, no problem. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'll work on that. And also, if I were you, this is this is normally what I do, and I think most most people who play this video game do. Well, this is my order of thinking. It goes hull, compartments, internals, AI, and blah blah blah. Oh, okay. Alright. So, next time when you build, make sure that, because it's a very nice path to follow. We have so many more fuel in there. Why do you have them on the sides when you could have them on the bottom? I just choose to put them on the sides. Right now, it looks like an, uh, uh, a passenger plane with dogs. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. What are you making a scrapper faction? Which is the purpose of everything? Yeah. Come on, that. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. I messaged him, hey, today, and he's like, you are gay. And then I'm just like, what? No, I'm not. And then he continues to just say, you are gay. And then, I'm, and then I, instead of answering my question of, hey, want to play from the left? And then it escalated to me blocking him. Wow. Being a total ass boy, and then he comes into the uh, thing. I was just hanging around here because I was bored and hoping, praying for somebody to join. And then he's just like, um, "Hey, I was talking to somebody else." Then I'm like, "Well, you could have said that." And then he's like, "Blah blah blah." And then he leaves for like a whole vacation. And he's just like, "What are you here?" Wow. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that. Because That was weird. Very weird. But hey, at least I don't have I don't have to listen to the ass fight anymore, so Yeah. He did 
helped me, and I'm glad that he helped me, but if he's just gonna behave like that, then... I was... he's 15, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. That can help. Why are you okay, just curious, why passenger plane with guns? Because I wanna I was working on a much larger uh plane like that and I wanted to see I wanted to do an experiment because mine actually kept doing the same thing and we kept flying up to the space and then just staying there. It's actually. Yeah. Is it really laggy for you? I'm sure there's a lot of South Korean people who play this, some games. Maybe South this game. Korean. South Africans. <laughs> Pretty far off. So how did you get Africa and Korea? They both have South in the name. Throw me off. Well, you could have also confused me for South Canada, South America, yeah. South. Fucking, literally anything with the word South. In all of, out of all the things you could have confused it for, you fucking confused it for, um, Korea. Oh, did you, got it? Okay. Yes, that's different. I did watch the South Korean movie called Parasite, so that's probably why it was on online. Oh, you watched Parasite? Yeah. Uh, you should, it's a good one. Isn't it like a weird It's more like a thriller. Not, nothing really scary. Just. Uh, I, I just. I like the. I, I just wait until Marvel makes it. Go watch that. Or maybe I'd actually like to see the Joker. Yeah, that one's good. Definitely worth that one. You live on your own? Nope. Oh. When I say I do not have the budget, it means uh, mom doesn't have money to go take us to the movies often, so. You were in a joke. Uh, I'm plus, I'm 15. How would I. I how would I live on my own without being, I don't know, a child soldier or something? <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I've had. I talked to any, too many people who are over 18. I used to everyone like living on their own or. like that. <sighs> I am very badly trying to suppress rage right now because. I just looked at your turret, your front turret, and it's just, not the gun itself is bad, it's just that you fucking put the APS customizer in the turret itself, and it's... It's a prefab. I know. I, I, I guess it's bad, but... So I'm blaming it on Nick. Give me a shitty turret.
Oh yeah. Then you truly have Daka. Very fast Daka. Much Daka. Much Daka. Alright, so. Oh, alright, you're still making it. Is 61 AP enough? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna know what happened to me today? What? My mom j just now went to the hospital. For what? Uh, a hernia. Who? Which one? Not the uh, like a hernia that's like in the middle of your chest somewhere. At least from what she showed. That's not helpful, but... What do you call that? Pulmonary embolism? Something like that? Yeah, or, I don't know, something. A, a hernia, she went. Like, before her, she, a stomach hernia ruptured, and then she went to the hospital, and now it's gonna be a chest one. Yeah. She'll get better. You get very panicky when, when uh, somebody goes to the hospital that's close to you. That's pretty normal. I mean, it's good to see him, you know. No, you're fine. Yeah, I'm sure if someone has like some diagrams on fish and fuel engines, I don't really know the most efficient one. Because it depends on how much RPM you're going to be using. Well, me, I can't fucking, I can barely, like, the 
only thing like I struggle with like dive like what do they call them maps? Graphs. I struggle with graphs in maps. Like I so I just see numbers and symbols that don't have any meaning to me and even if you explain it a hundred times I'm still draw a blank. Uh -huh. You'll get better, right? I mean, you need math for college. You'll get better at doing that. You, you do need math for college for pretty much anything. Any degree you want. At least in my country. My dad's a chemical engineer and a chemical engineer, basically like a chemist, but you're actually like making new, you're, you're, uh, Hydrogen. no, not that. <laughs> um, so yeah. And, um, like, he, he just wanted to get out of school. And he was not happy right now. Well, he's happy to have a, what? he's happy to have, a, like, my dad is, like, happy to have a job. You know? Well, the point I'm trying to make is that, like, chemical engineering was, like, really big in the 80s. When he wanted to win at school. And so... And right now it's like really in trouble because just a bunch of stuff like economic stuff. So how is chemical engineering in trouble? Like, uh, it's being outsourced to China and India because they're cheaper labor. Really? Yep. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so, like, if you're American and you want to work in this country, it's really difficult to find a job in chemical engineering. Because a lot of the companies that, are Ameri that were an American are taking their work to cheaper countries like Thailand, China.
There's actually a few cases in Africa. So I think it's in Ghana. Well, you did. The, the, the coronavirus only affects those who have compromised it, the elderly and those who have compromised it. Yeah. Most people should be able to resist it. There's actually speculation that if you get infected and uh, you you uh, it passes, you can actually get infected again. So, what? yep, get infected. It, you know, you um, survive it. You could get infected again and. There's reports that it actually is become stronger. You actually get a, it'll actually kill your heart. It has the potential to kill your heart. Okay, a new block plague has just arrived and it's the coronavirus. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's actually, um, they found out that, um, the plague was actually the coronavirus. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably like a coronavirus is um is actually a type of virus. It's like hold on. Look that up. Pull that up, Jamie. Coronavirus. Do I know something interesting about myself? What? I can, like, become immune to most medicines I take, like, after, like, a week of taking it. Hmm. So that's, like, it's fun being me. So and sometimes I, s I make a joke, I'm a living fucking biohazard. <laughs> that's different. I don't like asking my mom to go to the doctor because I know that I'll probably get immune to the medicine and we have to keep going and he's got to keep paying and get money. Damn. You have a job, Vanguard. Yeah, I'm a stalker at Walmart. Macro? Yeah, M A R C O, I believe. Isn't Macro just a, a, a giant warehouse with stuff in it? Huh, that's like Sam's Club. It's actually. Wait, describe to me what Walmart typically looks like. Doesn't it look like a warehouse with like shelves and blah blah blah? Uh, Sam's Club is like that. You get, the thing about Sam's Club is that you um, buy a membership, which allows you to get things extremely cheap, and all of the products are like in bulk. So you have like a lot of different, like you buy a, a large pack right. of products. Describe to me what a Walmart typically looks like. Um, yeah, Walmart is just like a... Um, just a really, really, really big department store. And it has literally everything, including guns. Well, Macro sure doesn't have guns. Well, like, I'm talking about, like, the building itself is just, like, looks like a warehouse, right? Yep. That's what I was trying to get at, like, Walmart looks like that. Whenever you said, when you said guns, my mind went to Ash from Evil Dead. <laughs> Shop smart. Shop. Ash smart. Cock shotgun. Mm. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> There's actually, um, 
a few states that allow you to um, carry a gun, uh, concealed carry, which means that you have it, like, um, you have it, like, on a holster, but it's, like, in your, it's covered. America, the land of big boo. Oh wait, <laughs> I got reminded of this one joke. So I forget. I don't know. Fuck. I got. But well, basically, the joke is about which fucking country. Like, so this kind of like. Fuck! I can't. I can't speak. Alright. So, how's the rounding going so far? It's going pretty good. Yeah, they're mostly so yellows. On this thing. Which one? Okay, press. Okay, after you. Okay. Press middle click when you're in build mode. Yeah, I'm looking at the drag view. Where is the. What are you talking about? Uh, press the wind button. Yeah. Looking thing. You see all the red? The, from. I think. Like the red on the fuselage because it is only from left, right drag. Like almost your entire body is fucking red. Yeah, that's because it's a flat edge, and the you know I only pay attention to the front facing blocks because that's where the that's where the. Uh, Yeah, on the side, so you don't need to worry about that because that's like the red part on the side is for left right drag, not not front back drag. Drag force. All right, let me test it out. So drag force back is 28,000. Down is 32. Any day now. Oh, I'm not in control of it. Why is it in the water? This is. I just alt tab because there was no like. Can you release it? Yeah, sure. Add some pitch thrusters, man. I have some. Oh shit. Uh, do you have a PID set up? Yeah. Why eat like water? Turn it into a submarine. Hell no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I have to completely redo all the armor in order to make a two a multi layered ballast.
might want to just chop off the wings and turn it into a sword. No. You, 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 oh yeah, you can save it for yourself, yeah. Do it, you can save it, you know, anything I make. Obviously. All of you. Oh. Hello, gremlin. How's my cat? Who's a cat? Who's a good baby? Yes, my squeaky one. I have the squeakiest cat to ever squeak. <laughs> No, like seriously, you should share some of the squeaks he makes. He's currently just nesting on my computer. Oh. Yeah, that cat. Very small and very cute. I miss having a cat. I have two dogs right now. I had a cat. Ah. I have like. We have over 10 cats and a dog. What? Our record for cats was 21. What? How big is your, like, how many, uh, do you have enough room for all of them? Yeah, but more, uh, like, cause you see, the, when the 21 was, three of our queens had babies. Oh. Hmm. Hello, gremlin. You know what this um, jet reminds me of? Um, the combined uh, helicopter from Half Life One, Half Life Two. The combine one. Yep, combine helicopter. Uh, do you know how to do VTOL? No. Why do you like destroying everything by rubbing against it? Hmm? <laughs> so like here, okay, so what's that? Ah, huh? uh, combine helicopter. <laughs> you know you could just right click and say copy image, right? Hmm? Yeah. Like okay, so I have one of those pull that. out desk thingies with the keyboard on it. Mhm. Mm or whatever on it, but I don't have enough space for both my keyboard and my mouse, so my barber attached a little square the size of my mouse pad on the side of the pull-out thing, and Gremlin here loves rubbing against it for some main reason. <laughs> oh. I mean, sometimes I get, like, I got him when he was the size that he could fit into your hand. Like a single hand. Oh really? He's very tiny. And I have raised him up ever since then. And he follows me around the house. Huh. Yeah, I know. Like, literally, Gremlin is either walking right up behind me slash next to me. Or he is somewhere w within the near vicinity of myself. Hmm. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, uh, do you want to tell? Uh, can I tell you another story about Gremlin? Sure. Alright, so Gremlin was lying down in the kitchen, and I was you know standing. He was lying down just a few, like I think about a few centimeters away from me. I snap my fingers and say his name, and then he rolls over to get close to me. Oh, really? Huh, it's cool. Like, mm. Have you ever seen a cat do that before? Yeah. I haven't. Old. I, mine, um, mine used to, like, sit down and then, like, grab my leg and then snuggle it. I, I have a picture on Facebook of that. Why don't you have a cat anymore? Uh, he had diabetes. You gotta put him down. Ah, uh, he had diabetes. Oh. I had a cat before I got a uh, gremlin. His name was Spacey. 
And she died to rat poison. Oh. Unless she ate a poisoned rat. Oh. Damn, I've never heard of that happen. I guess it makes sense, though. Like, when she died to the and discovered that it was rat poison, I, I was ready to fucking go on a crusade. Hmm? Mm hmm. Like, knock on everybody, they'll say, hey, are you using rat poison in your house? And, and if they answer yes, just whip out the great sword. Hmm. <laughs> Why is your thing still in water? Probably just too heavy. PID is configured. Ooh, look how hoist it for you. Oh, there was this one thing I, uh, uh, in the image I saw. So there's this guy in low plate armor at the gym, with, like uh, using those heavy um, dumbbell things, not the ones that you hold in each hand, but the you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, what? Like, so, okay, so, wait, I saw this funny image. Okay, so, the, it's this guy in full, uh, plate armor, like, knight armor. Mm hmm And he's using, what, you know those dumbbell things, but instead of the ones that you use in each hand, the, it's just one long bar with circle things attached? Barbell. Barbells, okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, he's got. He's using one of those, and then the text says, "Dost thou hoist?" Mm? <laughs> Did you see the video of the uh, guys in full play armor going to a gym? Yes, 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 yes. That one. I knew you were gonna say that. that, that, that talk about that one. When I talk about it. <laughs> Does thou hoist? Mm? Was funny. Yeah. Usually when I build planes, I like either having the guns in the wings or like somewhere in the hole instead of down. That's when I build them. Yeah, I got inspired by an AC-130 um, plane someone I made in the workshop. Yeah, you, you bought one? Or I mean, you, not, you, you, you made one? Oh, yeah, call me. Yeah, it, it, it's just, it's just second nature at this point. <laughs> I am one, I, I am one with the memes. The memes are one with me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. I it, am balanced. Yeah, the craft is pretty good. Um, it has, it has What's like... That? Yeah. That's the AC one, right? Yep. And it has uh it has guns that are facing one side. They're inside of the plane. Hey. Hey. Hey Typhon. What's up? Hey Meg. Um <clears throat> Looking for people to uh help me with my custom campaign. I'm helping um Vanguard. Vanguard. Um, with his plane, but I can help you if you help. Me. Oh, actually, I'm actually looking for someone else to help. I'm actually looking for someone to help me with uh, Neater. Oh crap! Someone DM me. Why? Why? Why are you using one blocks instead of uh, the four meter ones? The beam slopes. This is heresy. Alright, Well, what do you need help with for nature? Uh, making a craft for it. That'll take out, like... That'll take out most of the things. Oh. Oh my god, someone keeps DMing me. Like, who? Well, what do you mean destroy all the things? It's like... Like, something that's good for every faction. That's literally oh, no. like if you wanted to cost two million resources because that's probably the amount of resources you'll need for a ship that is good against every faction. 
Okay. Uh, you need ships designed to beat each and every faction, which is what I am doing. Okay, oh, I just want to call this thing, instead of calling it the Terminator, call it a narwhal from the first fucking uh, beam you placed at the top. Just make it angle upwards and we can call this thing the narwhal. Maybe. Like delete the side slopes and make the one angle and it's now the narwhal. And we can turn it into a submarine then. Ooh, ideas. I'm just having all the ideas. We can make a variant of this thing. Now it kind of looks like it has an insect, uh, like, bitey thingy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the, for the big jet, I was going for a boar where it has, like, teeth. But then there's like a inside fuselage that's square that kind of like it's like the mouth, the inside well, mouth. I can, hey, I can give you a basic guide to beat the first two factions. Deep water guard. Set them ablaze. Um, ha a fucking um, Onyx watch. Use the almighty power of Hesh. Now been learned. Go forth and defeat. Make a P A a P A P A C. <laughs> oh, I think Typhon died. Uh -uh. Nope. Uh, I'm still here. Hello. Why did you temporarily die? Sorry about that. Bro, this thing is getting more and more insect like with the fucking cockpit. Hmm. I'm not done. I'm just making it longer. That way it'll be more stable. I'm not insulting you. I'm not insulting you. We could make. Bro, I've got all the ideas today. I have all the I am ideas. I'm sorry, but all I can do is give you advice because Galag is fun. You can really modify anything in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah. It's taking like five or six seconds to place one clock. Yeah, I had that problem with the guy who lived in the Netherlands. Yeah. Hey! Hey! I did it. I placed a block. <laughs> Achievement get lock. Yeah, Nick should make that achievement for the game. Have someone twelve hours away from you place a block without lagging. Achievement get time bender. Yeah. Oh by the way, hey, word of advice. If you're gonna if you can beam it you I'm gonna make a, like a. I'm gonna try to make like a small craft for um. Pain. That was my dying voice. It kind of also sounds like I'm complicated, so there's no one. Yeah, what? Why is it called the Terminator, by the way? It just sounds cool. Oh, yes. Brimstone Bandits Type. Mm. It's a meme between myself and myself about Typhons. Typhons making a custom campaign that takes bit just after the Ashes of the Empire campaign. And he's got a, uh, the first, like, Deep Water Guard esque faction. Uh, the, uh, he calls them the Brimstone Bandits. Not the Brimstone Bandits anymore, they're the Black Sand Raiders. Hmm. But still, I will mock you for all of time for the Brimstone Bandits. <laughs> it, 
I it, I have pledged the solemn oath to solely mock you whenever you talk about your custom thing. Um, to just constantly repeat the Brimstone Bandit. I'm thinking of renaming this thing to the Firehawk. Player stack. It's not a nose. On the back. Well, what exactly do you need help with, Typhoon? Getting a uh, crap that is, um, A crap that can destroy every faction? That will cost roughly two million resources. Yeah. Dang it. Bruh. Bruh. Just build. This is why you build multiple ships that do different things. This is how the game fucking works. Get used to it. Not a fucking... How long have you been playing this game? 100 hours. Bruh, I have r run about the same amount of hours as you and I fucking know better. Mm. How is this possible that you... How? You... No... I, I don't know, I'm not in a mood for it. So. Anyway, it's just... Why does it keep doing that? I don't know, it likes the water. I said turn it into a fucking submarine. I'm not doing that. I want a freaking jet. Hey, you can make it a jet that dives into the water and turns into a submarine. Well, yeah, but the guns are on the bottom. It won't be able to hit anything on the bottom. <laughs> Switch them to the top. <laughs> Joking with you. <laughs> I know. I'm having a laugh. Bro, like, the way you built this thing is fucking, like, I'm pretty sure you don't have your PID set up correctly. Yeah, I, I'm new to PID, so pretty sure you're right. Just add AI PID, set it to pitch and roll, and you should be good. Like, and change the integral time to two seconds, and you should be good. Okay. That's usually what I, or you might, I'm used to thruster craft and helicopters. I don't do much with planes, I just do fun things. Oh. Is it two second integral time? Yeah, two second integral time. So uh, what, about updates, what about derivative time? Zero derivative time or 1.5? What's the default? Ignore derivative, just all you need to focus on is integral. Okay. And you might just need to have a lot more lift or just restrict its movement some more. Okay. Come then, come here. Come here, my lazy one. Why are you never lazy when I need? be lazy but the second I want you to come here you're just sitting there and just existing why Typhon who keeps DMing you people what do you mean people multiple what, people why do multiple people DM you because
Damn. <laughs> I haven't looked at my chat in an hour. Tongue goes by fast in this game. Oh my god. This is why I need to keep hell the end so I don't fucking die. I show my. Uh, okay. It likes rolling to the left a lot more. Yeah, and then it just dives bombs into the water. I don't know, it's, it's gotta be an AI issue. Or it's just to have too much heavy bomb. Yeah. The two. So that means we're thrust. I, think, I genuinely think that the one that's, when it, wherever it rolled, it's that turret. I think you shouldn't have the turrets like this. Yeah, I think you're right. This is not gonna fire if it's that heavy. I think that's what's causing, and I think the when it dive bombs, I think it's the front turret doing that. Yeah. So this is why you build turrets in the wings and in the hull. That it counterbalances everything. Yeah. Uh, like uh, I shall return. I will go quickly violate a law of the universe and be a person in Africa with water. I return, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like my what? joke before I left. Uh, I didn't hear it all the way. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, I'll say it again. I'll quickly go violate a law of the universe and be a person in Africa with water. Okay. <laughs> it's a funny joke. Go get some water because, gosh darn it, it's hot today. It's February. Like, it's like 39 degrees Celsius. In other words, very fucking hot. <laughs> when somebody say your IQ temperature is off, so tell them. Still wants to dive bomb. It's not. I don't think it's. I think it's because we're off the map. Yeah. You, you just. Saved it, right? I'll save it right now. There, let's go. Let's go back to the resource. Let's yeah, we're off the map. Let's just return to the lobby and then I'll restart it. Uh, oh, that could work. Either way, it works. Okay. Oh, I wish we had a pool so I could vegetate there for hours. <laughs> yeah, I wish mine was open in my gym. There we go. Alright, let's see. Where is, Where is it? Where is it? Right above you. There it is. It doesn't see. Hey! It's not up, oh, it's dive bombing. Just remove all the turrets to see how it flies. Okay. Yeah, 
it's still dive bombs, then we can confirm it's an AI issue. Alright. Maybe it actually doesn't see the water before it dive bombs. Maybe. You gonna delete all the parts? Yep. I will remix your, the sound of your DMs and just play it whenever I see it. Alright, it's going up. It's still, it's much better. Did you cool so them down? Far. Oh, it's dive bomb. It's gonna dive bomb into the island. It doesn't want to pitch up. I don't think you have enough upwards thrust. I mean, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. I think you should replace the where the tail is, just replace it with tail wings, that should help him. Tail wings. <laughs> um... Okay. Either that or... yeah, it, it, it fucking bombed. How many aircraft have you built? Uh, three, two, something like that. Yeah, two. It's my second one. Uh, it's not finished though. I haven't finished one yet. One and a half. Word, who the hell is DMing me? Who the fuck is pinging me? Alright, I just added you some pitching jets. Okay. Should hopefully be able to pitch up much more easily now. Alright. Ready? Yeah. So I'd like to help both of you, but I can't. I can't. It could just be multiplayer being multiplayer. Yeah, yeah no problem. Well. Right, Typhon. I can help you, but I can't make your fucking two million resource ship. I know, I know, I was joking. Alright. I will have to. I want to make something. <clears throat> I do want to make a plane with a cram cannon, though. Wrong. That's the fun. That's that's the way to go, man. That's what I'm doing. You're all wrong. You only make planes with APS. <laughs> 
you're either making a cram bummer or you're not make if you're actually planning to use uh, actual fucking cram guns. Cram gun, yes. No, that's heresy. Stop that. Mm. I live Those for heresy. Crams are extremely slow. And you want to put it on a plane. Yeah. That is a like a flying battleship. Yeah. Still, That's what I'm trying to do. don't go well with planes. If you make them short enough, they'll, um, they'll move, they'll turn really fast, faster. The only use crams have on planes is bombing. That's the only use crams have on planes. Otherwise, you either you, you use missiles, you use lasers, or you use uh, APS. Or all three, if you're feeling spicy. No one has just done it right yet. Hey, man. Hey, Imperial. Who's Imperial? Oh, yeah, that's one another guy I made from the server. Maybe that you're actually too front heavy as well. Yeah. I'm gonna look at other right, planes. Typhon, do you want me to start the server or do you want to start the server? Um. Yeah, hang on, I'll be right back real quick. Good man, how are you? I'm back. Holy shit, this thing has a
thank God. Yeah. I hope I at least gave you some pointers and stuff on how to play video game. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hope I helped. Did I did I help you in sufficient? Yeah, you did. Alright, danke, Kamerata. I should be on the rack. No, do you have it? Mm, I also. Alright. Whoa, I think it's just being highlighted. Right when I got that. Yeah. Motion detected at the front door.
All right. So I'm trying out the Heralder bomber on the workshop. It's pretty good. Bam, bam. Things pretty fast. Get him! 
Get him in the back. Get him in the booty. There we go. Ooh. That's a good one. Ooh. Another good one. Who's that? How fast is that thing? Huh? Huh? Hyphen, you are you existing? Bam. Alright, have you got the server set up? Can I? I'm ready to help you. Well, I'm not in the. I'm not in the game. Why? In a different game. But why though? I thought you were asking for help. What? What kind of confusing? What are you? Why are you? I guess Damn, the specter is scary. So many missiles.
Material.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
All right, I'm gonna go off for a bit. I'll see you guys later.